So first clip, you're eating this apple in Toronto. <laughs> Is that something you do a lot? What's going on there? So I did it the first night we were there. Um, I was hungry and I didn't want to go in and get chips or anything like that. So I, I figured an apple was pretty good. And uh, obviously the camera caught it and you know started making some, some funny content out of it. And why are why are Cole and Montgomery not near you while you're eating this apple? I just I, it just it just happened that way where I just came out of the clubhouse and and I I just stood in that corner. Uh, it was comfortable there and, and and I felt like it was a good spot. Okay, and lastly, like, have anybody been trying to like send you apples since this has happened? Like, this has become a big thing. Like. No, so I ate it the second day and and. Uh, I saw something on Twitter that was pretty funny, uh, saying that the apple stock had gone up <laughs> after uh, they saw me eating the apple, so that was pretty cool. But I think there's a moment in this at bat where Shohei, like you see him like smile. Did you get a sense, you know, from this at bat that he would, you know, like this is something that you've never kind of experienced before? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I was I was doing it in that, and so he he thinks that I'm doing something different. Obviously, he's a great hitter. Uh, one of the best in the game and I had faced him the night before so I told myself if I, if I came in to face him again I would have to do something different because obviously if he got the same look he would probably hit a homer off me um, So I try to I try to do you know all the stuff that I usually do when I'm when I'm pitching and and I respect that he got a laugh out of, out of that I know there was a, I, there was somebody else from the Mets that that, that was laughing too when, when I did that to him uh, last year in July 4th and I think uh, there's an advantage there if, if, if they're not concentrated on, on what's coming. Okay. The nimble, yeah, yeah, yeah. The nimble, nimble. Um, First of all, take us through the balance that it takes for something like that. Like, is that, is that uh, all about balance? I mean, a lot of people say it's, well, for me it's not difficult, but a lot of people say it's difficult for them to do that. Um, honestly, I just try and stay as, you know, my head over my, over my legs uh, as long as possible, for, to obviously to get that, that balance, but um, I'm just inventing stuff as, as I go through through the through the outing, so it makes it unique. And as soon as I grab the ball from the catcher, it's like, okay, I'm thinking about this and I'm gonna do this. But at the end of the day, when I'm when I'm in the air, you know, trying to define what I'm gonna do, it just comes out natural for me. Is that is it fun for you? Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know the, the guys in the dugout love it, um, the fans love it, so it's something that I like to keep doing, and, and hopefully I, I can have some success with it. Did you, yeah. pull out, did you pull out all the moves or did you leave one or two in the chamber for future use? Uh, there's, a, there's a few in the chamber for future use. I, I think none of them are repetitive, so hopefully uh, there's, more, there's more stuff coming out.